hello and welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a book cover using figma how to create a book cover using figma i love books and i love to make covers for them so i'm going to be showing you one of my designs and you're going to be replicating that same design so we have i have this design i love it i love the simplicity i love the colors i love the font arrangements i love everything about it so i'm going to be showing you how to create this particular book cover so let's get started right away i'm going to go to page two we have this design on page one so i'll just go to page two so we can work from there so now we have a blank page and the first thing I want to do is to set my dim my dimension for the book cover. So I'll click on frame here. You can see we have menus. Um, I'm going to be dropping a video explaining or giving an introduction to Figma. So you can understand the basic things, the menu and every other thing. I'll drop it in my YouTube channel very soon. Just wait on it. Uh, so I'm going to click... Um, on this particular icon here is frame so I'm just gonna click on frame then I'll come to my workspace here and draw um, just draw it out okay so this is it now we have the the width and length at the right hand side so I'm going to be adjusting it I'll set this to 1600 then I'll set the height to 2560, which is a, a good dimension for books, for book cover. So let's get started right away. We have our book um, cover, and this is the frame we created. You can change the name. You can just say um, book cover. Over. okay so now we're going to set the background color if you look at our design here we have a blue color so we're going to set that color now i think i have the color code here so i'll just copy this color code you can work on you can create your own design based on your choice of color it's fine so i'm going to Click on the color here. Just paste the color here. We have the color. We have white. This is white color. Now we can just change it. Just paste the color here. Control V. Now you can see we have our color. So we can get started fully with our design. In this design, I have some images that I brought in. So I'm going to be bringing them in now. I'm going to be bringing the images that I use. I love to combine images so that it gives me some kind of creativity and beautiful looks. So in this um, design, I use two images. So I'll just come back to my page two and I'll come search for my images. I have them in my download folder. So I'll just search for them. Okay. So let's just search for then okay so i have this image then i'll bring in the second one i think i have the second one in another folder okay i think i have the second one here so you can just download some of okay this is it you can download images Online, I can attach this image to this a link of this um this image to this video. So let's adjust it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make this bigger. So you can just hold your shift key and your alt key, then adjust it so that you can get a good sh adjustment so you bring it here 
and you make the other image make it bigger too your shift key and your hot key okay we have it here then i'll be sending this particular image the second image i'll be sending it to the back of the first image so i'll just right click on the image then i will say send backward now you can see we have um what we have here just a little adjustment this should come up a little bit and let's send backward sorry yeah so the next thing is to now type our title so I'll pick the the text you can see the text this t is the text icon so i've just typed my title surviving surviving so let's go back to check the font name and the size so here we have surviving and the font name you can see once you click on it it gives you the details for the the test so we have just and we have 92 94 semi bold so let's come here and say this is where you change your fonts just say just Just click on J and just okay. Then it's 94. So to to decrease is just highlight on your the number. Then use the down down and up arrow to increase or decrease. 94. Okay now you change this to semi bold okay so the next thing is to type our tomorrow 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 okay so let me check the font size for that tomorrow we have hebo Hebrew, Hebrew. So, and 180 size, then bold. So let's come back in. And say, just type H. Then look for him. This is it. You have it in 180. Then you make it bold. So make sure when it comes to design, you really want to work on your alignment. Everything must be really aligned. Make sure this is in the middle. Okay. So let's duplicate this. So you can just duplicate by saying Control D, Control plus D. Okay, then you move this in. So let's say now. Sorry. Today. Today. Okay. So let's move this here. The surviving and today are the same size, the same font. So I want to adjust this a little. It is always advisable that you zoom in on your design so you can see what you're doing properly. It's just zoom in, then adjust it. Okay. 
I'll adjust this too. Now we are going to pick a shape to to make this black background. The black background that we have here. So let me pick a, a shape now. Um, I'll just click on here. You see, we have a lot of shapes. And I want to use the rectangle, so I'll just click on rectangle and make the shape and bring it down. Yeah, just a little, then say send backward first, just right click on it and say backward. Right click on it, backward. Sorry. Okay, just say send to the back. Just click back. So let's adjust this a little. Okay, then adjust your test. Let it be in the middle of the box. Okay, then duplicate the box. Duplicate. Then bring it here. Now, give your test a white color. Just click on the fill here. Then choose this. Click on the few. Click on today. Just click on today. Then say white color. You can move it here. You can move your colors around. You can move it around. You can move it around. You can, you can play with colors. But I'm using white for this design. So then we have this black, black, okay, so the box should be black. Very good. Now we have this tomorrow in white, but with a little style, with a little linear style. So I'll go back to it. Then I'll say tomorrow. I'll give it a white color. Okay. After which I will I will now add plus my plus icon. Just you can see this field. You will see a plus icon. Yeah. Just click on the plus icon. Sorry. Now we have a linear view, so just click on it. Now we are going to select white color here. Then we are going to select black color here. So you click on this and choose a black color. Then you click on this and make sure it is white. Move it here, somewhere here. Then move this area just move it a little now come to this place the opacity and click on the black the black here come to the opacity and increase it to 100 can you see that now we have our fuel for tomorrow Okay, so the next thing is to type our the author's name and the so I'll come here and type a, a collection of poems a collection of poems a collection of poems so I'll increase, I'll decrease the size. You have to click on it. 
to decrease it. Just use your um, a light on the size number, then use your down key. Okay. Let's reduce it a little. Okay. Now let's check. I think we have this in another font style. Okay, Avo. We have it in Avo 53 bold. So let's go back to his. See, Avo. I really do not like to use too much fonts in my design. Maximum of two or three and fifty six. six. Okay, is that correct? Fifty three. Okay, we have a fifty three. Okay, so play here. Then copy. Duplicate this, just say Ctrl D, Ctrl plus D, then type the name. We have um, Kayla Morgan. Kayla, cap, Kayla Morgan. Okay, so I space this out a little. So to space this out, just click on it, then say, come to this place, let us space in, then increase it by using your up arrow key. So this should be white. And this should be what size? Seventy five. So click on this. So we have this to be 75. So it simply means you can do this here. And you can adjust this. Adjust this a little. Now we have our design. So this is basically the design. Let's, let me zoom in so you can see. This is basically the design, and I totally love it. I love the simplicity. If you look at Figma, we have all everything that we do here. You can see this is everything: the name, collection, tomorrow, every details you are going to be having them here. So that when you want to adjust, you can easily click on it and make your adjustment. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification button so that you can always get more videos from me i'll be in the next video i'll i'll, I'll be creating a video where i will show you how to mock up your design thank you so much bye